Thanks for joining. It's Andrew from iDownloadBlog, and we're going to check out the best jailbreak tweaks compatible with iOS 9.3.3. First up is a classic stable that is a must have for every jailbroken device, and that's iFile. This is a file browser for an iOS device that lets you go in, modify, add, delete files from your device's file system. I guess if you want to be technical, this is more of a utility rather than a tweak, but it is still something that we believe everyone should have on their devices, and luckily it's compatible all the way up through iOS 9.3.3. If you haven't already and you really want to get in there and mess with everything inside of your phone, you should definitely be checking out iFile. Next up on the list is Fingal. Now Fingal is somewhat of a theming utility. You can find it inside of your settings application once you install it and there are a bunch of different themes that you can install. But really what it ends up doing is just animating your system icons. So here's the basic or default theme. It does change a few of them around a little bit, but you'll notice all the tiny little animations. Not all the animations are the same, and if you get a different theme, it'll look a little bit different, but this is really one that I liked a lot. Next up is called Face Down, and it does kind of what you would think it would do when you put your phone face down, it'll lock your phone. So you don't have to worry about going up and hitting the button, just set your phone down on the counter and it's locked. Simple tweak, but it's something that I actually find very useful. I like the icons on my Apple Watch, particularly the little round ones. I think they're a lot nicer. Now, this doesn't really affect anything on your lock screen, but our next tweak is called Circle Icons, and it does just what it sounds like. Anything inside of the settings application, all these icons down the left, they're squares. Simply enabling circle icons will make all of your icons circular. So we scroll back up, you'll notice what was square are now in circles. Very simple, simply aesthetics, but it's nice if you like the Apple Watch or if you like that circular look. Because again, jailbreaking is just about really tweaking everything to your liking. So it's small, but if you like those icons, this is for you. Like many of the tweaks or apps on this list, we have reviewed them in the past, and it's no different with Callisto. Callisto is a pretty cool tweak that allows you to use the current time as your passcode and it even works specifically with the six digit passcodes. There's different ways you can handle that. There's a lot of different rules and shortcuts that you can create with this, but it's a really simple way to not have to worry about people seeing your passcode because essentially it changes all the time. So if I lock my phone right now, we check out the time. So 11.45, uh, well 11, 11.46 now, I can type in the code 11.46 and I'm into my phone. So if you like the idea of using the time as the passcode, check out Callisto. Another staple that I feel like everyone should have is Activator. Activator works up to iOS 9.3.3 and pretty much everyone knows what Activator does, but if you don't, just a way to activate different things, whether it's basic stuff in your phone or using other tweaks. So I can triple tap the home button to enable a certain tweak to trigger or double tap the power button or whatever it is, there's a huge list of stuff you can do. So definitely check out Activator if you haven't in the past. Power tap adds a lot of little modularity to turning off your phone. You can opt whether you want to include the option to reboot, respring, or safe mode once you have what you want enabled simply go ahead and turn off your device hold down that power button at least you'll see that little slider come up on the screen if you tap the little circle it'll switch to slide to reboot slide to respring or power off if you've ever need to respring your device or you want to enter safe mode re really easily this is a super easy way to do that and you don't really notice at all until you actually go to use those features I shoot a lot of video and one thing that I've always wanted to do on my phone is maybe just pause that video recording for just a second. Luckily now with record pause, I can do just that. I simply open up the camera app like I normally would while I'm recording a video and yes, my camera is working, uh, I'm just face down on a table so everything is dark. But if I tap on the, the time on the top there, it'll go ahead and pause my video. The power or the the block, the stop button at the bottom will turn yellow to let me know that I've paused it, but it's a really easy way to just pause that video for a second, continue recording, or stop it like you normally would. Spring Tomize was really one of those game-changing tweaks that came to Cydia, and it allows you to change almost everything on your device, or at least on the springboard, without having to download just a zillion different tweaks and apps. 
you can pretty much customize this exactly to your liking all with the inside of spring to Mize. and spring to Mize 3 now has been updated to fully work and support ios 9.3.3 now you can change any of your animations control center dock folders icons lock screen notification center or pages and so much more all with spring to Mize on the latest os Type status is one of those tweaks that I so wish Apple had built into the stock OS. And it's a really simple concept, but very, very useful. We're gonna go head down to settings and to type status so that we can actually test it out. There's a little trial mode inside of here, but you can make all of your different configurations and now you can easily see when someone has read or is replying to any of your text. So you can see Johnny Appleseed up there is typing. So it just allows you to see that when you're not inside of the messaging application. Obviously, if you're inside of messaging, you can see that it's happening, but you don't want to sit there with that app open waiting to see that information. Now you can go ahead and get out of messages and still see that information coming there right on your status bar. You can fully customize it and now it works with iOS 9.3.3. Volume panel is one of those tweaks that I didn't realize how much I wanted until I had it. I never realized how annoying it was that different apps would play audio at different levels and I didn't always want that to happen. So volume panel is a very simple tweak that allows you to have this little button inside of control center. When you tap it, it'll show all the individual volume levels for each of your different apps. Of course, there's universal volume where you can change everything, but it's really nice to go in there and actually control on a more modular level. Each of the sliders is vertical and color coded to make it easy to differentiate, but if you do have a lot of apps, the list can be quite long. If you're bored of Apple's stock folder option, then go ahead and check out Apex 2. Apex 2 is essentially a folder system that hides all the other similar or any of your grouped apps behind a single other app so they don't take up that valuable screen real estate. But it's really nice so I can hide my other app stores behind the app store. So I can hide uh, Cydia and iTunes right behind there so when I touch on it, I can see those options pop up behind it. It's got a really nice animation. It works really well and it's a lot, I feel like it looks better, at least to me personally, than the folder system does. I think those are kind of boring and I don't like all the white squares on my home screen. I really prefer this. So if you're looking for a better way for folders, you should check out Apex 2. Ever felt that the app switcher and control center should really be baked in together? You should be able to activate two of them at the same time? Well, the next tweak up on our list, you can do just that. OXO 3 has been updated to take advantage of iOS 9.9.3. First, we can jump into our settings app and we can see a few different options that you can have, but there's basically just a few really cool multitasking tricks. You can double tap the home button and now you'll see on the right hand side, we have control center. It nicely takes up that whole screen, gives you more screen real estate. You can also use hot corners by swiping up from the bottom right hand side. I can get directly to the desktop or I guess not desktop, but your home screen in this situation. And as well as we have the right corner, we have the left corner that works. Now, if I swipe on the left hand side, we'll see this really cool animation that allows me to easily switch between all my apps. It's got a cool animation, little little wave type thing going on here. You can see the app icons at the bottom and a screenshot on the top. There are tons of different app switchers out there, but I have to admit that OXO 3 is definitely on the top of that list. Barrel is one of the absolute most popular jailbreak tweaks of all time allows you to animate the icons as you go back and forth between your home screens. There's no reason why it's so popular, it's ridiculously awesome. There are so many different cool ways that you can switch between your icons that I don't really know how you can narrow it down to just one. I personally switch mine up all the time, but even that barrel one just looks cool. I'll just sit sometimes swiping back and forth between my icons because it looks so neat. Um, but there are you know, steps or the barrel, uh, turning in and out, there's, there's a ton of them. You're gonna have to download the app for yourself and just go through the list until you find the one that you really like for yourself. Even better, it didn't even require an update to fully support iOS 9.3.3. So if you already had this, you're good to go with no update necessary. I don't know if this has happened to you guys, I assume it has, but I hate getting interrupted with a phone call when I'm in the middle of something important, then writing an email, recording, or in the middle of playing a game. If I'm in the middle of a Clash Royale game, I do not want to be interrupted with a phone call that's going to just kick me out. Well, now with Call Bar, it's really simple just to accept or decline any audio calls, phone, FaceTime with a really non-intrusive way. It pops in on just the top of the screen. I can dismiss it, get rid of it right away, and I don't have to be kicked out of my app 
to deal with it. Call Bar has definitely evolved since it was initially released and it's only gotten better and now fully supports iOS 9.3.3. When iOS 10 was announced, everyone was devastated, absolutely devastated that there was no dark mode. Well, now you can get something similar to that using Eclipse. It updates the dock to look like more like dark mode inside of Mac OS and you can enable it in a bunch of different applications. Simply go into the settings app, go to Eclipse 3 and choose the apps that you want to enable dark mode in. It doesn't make sense in all apps, but for the ones that you wanted to, it's really great. So for instance, settings looks a lot darker, obviously. So if you were really bummed that you did not get that dark mode in iOS 10, you can do pretty much that using Eclipse 3 on iOS 9.3.3. Something else that seems overlooked by Apple, especially as, we, as we've migrated towards larger phones, is one-handed mode. Sure, they have some things like you can double tap on like the Touch ID to bring the top of the screen down a little bit, but it still feels half-hearted. Now, with one-handed, you can actually just really pull the screen down to one side. It supports both left and right handers. There's a bunch of quick access controls like a volume or mute inside of that as well. Oh my gosh, I tapped on Twitter. Uh, but also social media controls at the bottom with Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can resize it so it's the perfect size for you and it's really easy to get to using an activator gesture. If you got a ridiculously large iPhone like the 6S Plus or the 6 Plus, you should go ahead and check out one-handed, which is now compatible with iOS 9.3.3. Let's take a look at another camera app called Camera Tweak 4. This is basically a way to not have to install third-party camera applications and use the stock first-party option instead. Now, I do like third-party ones. They're always better, but it's so much easier to use the stock one because you can get to it from the lock screen. But it still lacked so many features. But with Camera Tweak 4, it brings a ton of them there. A lot of options for controlling the white balance and for adding new grid systems that you prefer over the stock, just basic grid that Apple offers. So if you do a lot of photography or videography, definitely check out Camera Tweak 4. Carriers have lately been trying to push everyone away from those unlimited data plans to new packages. And you kind of lose your tethering abilities, or if you do get your tethering abilities, it costs you more money for less data. So no one really wants to do that. But Tether Me not only allows you to tether without having to go through your carrier, it allows you to have other cool benefits too, like sharing your Wi-Fi so I can attach to Wi-Fi from my phone and share that Wi-Fi with my other devices. Now this last tweak is for everyone who plays Pokemon Go out there, and while there was recently an update that allowed Pokemon to work on jailbroken devices, Master Ball allowed you to play it even though there was that block in place. And this was done before that new update came out that allowed jailbreaking devices to work, but if that block is ever put back in place again, Master Ball is definitely a tweak that you should check out. So that's it, 20 tweaks all available working with iOS 9.3.3 and the latest jailbreak. Please go ahead and subscribe for more like this. Otherwise, until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.